Okay, I decided to uh, take the front end off of the scope here and uh, just have a, a quick look at it. I was interested in possibly converting this to a, a LCD screen, but in order to do that, uh, I needed to take measurements of it. So here is the uh, measurements. Uh, it looks from the back of uh, the bezel right here. I know it's a different color. It looks like it dropped off, but it doesn't. It's actually there. Looks like it's uh, three quarters of an inch there, but from the mount, it's a half inch. So for you uh, guys that use a metric system, it uh, looks like 20, 20 millimeters by, uh, it's like about, sorry for the focus there. Looks like about 12. 11, 12, about 12 and a half, 12 and a half millimeters. Uh, let's do the width. Oh, I can't do it with this ruler. I have to get another one. Hold on. Okay, I'm back. Let's see here. For the, uh, for the English system, or American now, it looks like a six and uh, five eighths. For the metric folks, it looks like about 17 point, yeah, just about 17 millimeters, pretty close. 17 mil, or in this case, seven, seven, I'm sorry, centimeters. Yeah, you know, that's crazy Americans. All right, I'll get the front here for you in a second. Okay, it looks like we're sitting at about, uh, five and a quarter maybe just a hair over and for uh, the metric folks uh, looks like 13 and a half millimeters or centimeters sorry I'm used to dealing with millimeters at work not centimeters <laughs> so there you go and uh, that's what she looks like when she's kind of stripped down there's the bottom of it right there yeah, uh, looks like I got a little bit of dust in these. But for the most part, the scope was fairly clean. Uh, what I did is I just went ahead and when I opened it up, since it was clean and I was in there, I, I took an old uh, toothbrush. Obviously, I grounded my uh, fingers to the frame and the brush to the frame first to dissipate any static. And I wiped them off. I also used a, uh, uh, an acid brush. Uh, as well to get into some of the areas where it was a little tougher um, It doesn't seem to have hurt it any as long as you dissipate any static electricity you have and Yes, I know that it might generate a little bit because they're nylon bristles, but I've never had a problem with it Maybe some of you guys have but I've never had a problem with it so anyways uh, let me uh, go ahead and get this all back together. I'll, I'll probably do a video of how to disassemble one of these scopes um, since there doesn't really seem to be a lot on the, on the internet on how to do it. I mean, you, yeah, you could go find the manual, download it, and do all that, but really, uh, it's a, probably the best way to do it, but it's not always the easiest way to learn how to do something. That's why I like videos. I like to put things up that uh, aren't necessarily on the, the internet and I find it useful, so I just kind of like to share it with y'all. So, anyways, uh, let me go for now, and if I come up with something else, I'll, I'll let you know. Till then, if you guys uh, know how to revive a dead CRT, or um, just a quick look, so I don't have to dig through the manual, uh, by all means, uh, give me a, a quick post on how to do that or what to look for. Quick checks. Uh, uh, one of my favorite users out there, I should probably send him a, a shout out, uh, or not users, but one of the guys I like to uh, go to a lot on videos is uh, Hobby Tech Cap, or Tech Hobby Cap, that's him, yeah, sorry about that, <laughs> but uh, I love his videos on the TDS, he doesn't know me, uh, probably hasn't even subscribed to me, and that's fine, you know, he's a, 
he's uh he's well well ahead of me on any of this stuff but uh i do appreciate your work and or his work and uh anything i like that there's a couple other guys out there to do it I, I just can't remember their head their names right off the top of my uh head so anyways anybody knows how what to check immediately on this to possibly get it up and running so i don't have to convert it or go buy a crt drop me a, a comment or a, or a line or something i appreciate it talk with you all later